Hey guys and welcome back to Mzanzi Sobi Ketchup. If you're new here, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update. Friday, 1 September, Funani tells Faith to go back to the drawing board while Sandile celebrates the great work he did, only to be disappointed by the news later on. Monday, 4 September, Pearl stays behind when she learns that both Mampo and Molefe are working late and discovers how Molefe has been blackmailing Mampo. Tuesday, 5 September, Nandifa interrupts Nkosi and Faith having lunch and Faith brags to Nandifa that Funani's legacy is about to be cemented and Nandifa then decides to pay Funani a visit with some good news. Wednesday, 6 September, Nandifa tells Funani she's working on moving up the trial date and the readers are shocked to learn that Nandifa wants to start the trial the day Funani is meant to be honored. Thursday, 7 September, Nandifa appeals for justice to the public to put pressure on the prosecutors to move up the trial date, while Faith worries about how this will affect Vogue Africa and her fears are confirmed when the editor shows up with bad news. Friday, 8 September, the Vogue editor has decided to drop House of Zwede, but she changes her mind when she gets a look at Orna's impressive designs. Monday, 11 September, Funani tells Orna to come see him so they can discuss the collection and their meeting gets off to a rocky start, but they soon enter a flow state where they begin to enjoy working together. Tuesday, 12 September, Kosi tells Faith that Funani wants him to get rid of the evidence against him and Kosi is keen to please his father. So Kosi sends Benjamin in to destroy evidence, but Nandifa proves to be a major roadblock. Wednesday, 13 September, Zanele announces she's moving in with Zola and she refuses to listen to Faith, who advises against it, but Faith ends up tasking Dorothy with stopping Zanele. Thursday, 14 September, Ona runs into distraught Mampo, who has just had a fight with her mother, and the two have a sincere conversation, and Ona ends up suggesting that Maria should start working with Ria. Friday, 15 September, Zola has made a vision board for Zanele's future and Zanele loves it, and they shoot content together and it does so well that Zanele ends up suggesting to Laz that she cut down on working for House of Zwede. Monday, 18 September, Mambo threatens to call the police and have Maria evicted if she doesn't go back to Ria and make things right, so Maria finds herself working for the Molapos. Tuesday, 19 September, Funani tells Nandifa that he surrenders and wants to confess, but it's revealed to be a trick to get information out of her. Wednesday, 20 September, Maria breaks down in real tears at the thought of going back to work for Ria, but Mampo reminds Maria that she was once a self-made woman and encourages her to persevere. Thursday, 21 September, Funani is summoned to sign a confession which he's willing to do to protect his family, while Laz approaches Nandifa's victims building a case against her. Friday, 22 September, Laz comes barging in to stop Funani from confessing right at the last minute and she reveals she has recordings of multiple people talking about how Nandifa screwed them over. Monday, 25 September, Funani and Ona work together to get ready to showcase their new collection at the gala event and Faith feels a little sidelined. Tuesday, 26 September, Nandifa confronts Funani at the gala event and reveals she actually has a gun and determined to get justice for her brother, she pulls the trigger but Faith leaps in front of Funani and takes the bullet. Wednesday, 27 September, Laz and Pearl admire the outfit Zanele is wearing but Zanele takes exception to Laz's assertion that Zola is controlling. Thursday, 28 September, Zola feels vindicated as Zanele reports back that her friends at work loved the outfit he chose for her and he reminds her that he alone knows better than anybody else what is good for her. Friday, 29 September, Nkosi wonders whether it's time to forgive Faith while Ona realizes that she was not even mentioned in Vogue Africa. As always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update.